It's Joe, and this is my next project. Well, we got the top kind of sewed together. It's time to move on to a little something else. And it's either gonna be mounted in the back or build these windshield posts. Whatever it is, it's gonna be engineer design. And I talk a lot about engineer and design, but let me tell you, I'm a student. I am not a teacher to sit here and teach you or tell you how design and engineering ought to go, but I just enjoy it. Some people enjoy singing in the shower. I just enjoy designing in the shower. I draw all this stuff on the inside of the shower door. <laughs> but the engineering part, I like figuring out how to make it do what I want it to do. And the design part, I want to figure out how to make it look how I want it to look. And both of them kind of go together. If I was a good designer, I'd be able to draw this on paper and stick to the plan and then make it turn out just like it is on the paper. But that's not the way it is for me. The way it is for me, I get a general idea of what I want. I get a silhouette of how I think it ought to look. And then we start putting it together and it kind of grows from there. It's an organic thing. You put one thing on and it makes it grow one direction. You build something else, makes it grow in a different direction. Anyway, that's, that's what we're doing here. Design and engineering on an amateur backyard basis. And I dig it, man. Here's what we're gonna design. <laughs> I got this in the top of design engineering, but we've got to design and engineer a windshield post, two of them. We got to mount a windshield of some kind, and I've thought about this. I tried to cut a windshield. I was no good at that. I could probably easy enough make a, uh, I could make a flat windshield, but I really don't, I don't want to make a flat windshield. I think this car, if you look at this car, it's bulby, it's flowing, it's rounded, everything's rounded. It's got to have a curved windshield. Doesn't need to be curved much, but it needs to be curved a little bit. And I told you before, that two-year plan, the old two-year plan was to use this back hatch however here's what's going on with the back hatch program it bends this way and this way and you can't make a piece of lexan i can't make a piece of lexan bend like that i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a single bend and if i'm gonna have a single bend i don't need this I don't need to modify this. There's just, there's, by the time I modify it, I think I could build another one. It's just thick. Anyway, it's out. We're gonna build a new one. And uh, I don't know, the guys on TV just build the whole car in 29 minutes. I just ain't that good. And I ain't ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I just want to build one little project after another, string them all together, and that's how it's gonna work. So some days we're just figuring this stuff out and I spend a lot of time, I think about this. I don't know when you build a car, but when I build a car, when I think about a part, I'm rolling this over in my mind over and over and over on how all the pieces are gonna to go together. That's the fun part of engineering. It's a game you can play. It's not a video game. You don't have to have a player. You just have to have a knowledge about how things work a little bit, a little bit, and I'm learning. And you can fit those pieces in your mind. How's it gonna fit? How's it gonna clear? How's it gonna unbolt? How are you gonna hide the bolts? And that's kind of what I did here. And here's today's two-year plan. 
we're gonna use, well, I, I gotta show you one other thing. We're gonna use this, let me get you off of here. I think we're gonna use this square tubing. Don't worry, it won't be square by the time we get done. And then this sea perlin right here is uh, thin. It's just sea perlin like you buy at the sheet metal store you know, where they, you build metal buildings out of it. And this is not quite a quarter inch thick. It's a little, little thickish. It's gotta be sturdy because it's not gonna be very big in spots. Uh, a real convertible, I think, is mostly that post is made out of tin, but it's folded in so much, it's stiff. And here's one of the problems. When this top comes off, and I'm, it's a Roadster, and when people get out of the car, they grab that windshield post to hold it up, to hold them up, to get out of the car. And if it's not very sturdy, they'll just break it. And that would be, that'd be bad. So, here's what's happening. Here's what I think's happening anyway. We've got to build a windshield post that has to hold the windshield, a curved windshield. We're gonna cut the hood. When we make the hood, we'll cut the hood out and it'll have a vent like modern cars. A lot of these old coupes, they don't. The hood goes right on, right into the windshield, but this one will. It'll have a vent, it'll have a hidden windshield wiper down in it. Uh, because the sides are gonna be all sealed up, sheet metal, this will give it a good vent and I get a place to put a windshield wiper. I ain't worried about the windshield wiper. And this has to come up here and be stiff enough to hold this roof. The roof, we put these rivets in the roof. It got pretty stiff, but it ain't stiff enough. It ain't stiff enough to run 70 miles an hour down the highway, that's for sure. So we'll put a little bit of stiffening in there, but we've got to have, if this top's going to come off, we've got to bolt it some way on there. And this has to be a little bit bulky, a little bit stiff. Here's what I've come up with. I'm gonna make a windshield post out of that thick tubing over there. And if I don't think that's thick enough, I've got some thicker tubing out there that will tuck down in here. It'll be longer than this. This is not a pattern, this is just a piece. And it's gonna come up here to about right there. And we could lean this post in but that just creates a big open space. And uh, this thing happens to have an air compressor on it. I think if I do things right, I could have a little air condition if I wanted to. This is Texas and it gets like Africa hot. Anyway, this is gonna be a piece of the thick square tubing that I'll cut. It will narrow at the top, a little thicker at the bottom, then and it'll sit straight up here, flat here. It will have a piece on it like this. Just about like that, that is gonna be at the angle of the windshield. This is like holding chopsticks. It'll be kind of like that. It'll be at an angle where the windshield can come off of it and we can reach in here and tack it. I can tack it on the back. The Lexan is gonna hang over this edge and you could put some tiny screws in it. It's gonna be screwed down pretty good at the bottom. We could put some little bolts and nuts in this. I don't want them hanging out there like a, like a dirt track car, like a pavement car. Anyway, if you put them close to the edge, this'll tuck up under here. There's gonna be another piece that smaller angle iron, the uh, C Perlin kind of angle iron. It'll also be tapered. You'll have a tapered piece. And it is going to kind of go over the Lexan to hide the screws. And it's gonna, it'll have a, a bolt built in, excuse me, a nut built in it. When I slide it in there, I can put a little 
No, I put a bolt up through here, two or three of those. I think that's the plan. So, nothing left but to work. And probably ain't happening tonight, but uh, thanks for tuning in. It will happen. <laughs>